Hi, my name's Phil from SY Electronics, and today we're going to talk about terminating RJ45 connectors onto a Cat5 cable. So, we've got a few bits and pieces that we need, obviously, we need some tools. So, we've got a Cat5 cable, uh, RJ45 connectors, and need a cable stripper, cable shears, a crimp tool, and then a testing device so we can make sure that we've terminated the cable correctly at the end. So, here's our Cat5. So put a rubber boot on, that's optional if you want to use a rubber boot, just need one of these. So we're going to get our cable stripper and put the cable strip against your fingers so that it doesn't spiral. Uh, it just goes in a nice clean circle on the ground. Pull the jacket off, you will want to just uh, snip the piece of string off, don't need that. Now some people separate the cables in a different way. Some people use the end of the the, uh, the jacket to put on the, the piece of the, the um, pair of cables there and separate those. Once you've got it on, it actually works quite well. I don't tend to do that myself, but it's an option. The important thing is to lay the cables out in the correct order. So we're gonna go with the orange pair first. And we do need to smooth these out in a cap cable, Cat5, Cat6, whichever. They're all twisted. Each pair is twisted slightly differently. That's to avoid crosstalk. But the order of the cables, we used the color scheme T568B. So we've got orange, white, orange, white, green, blue, blue, white, green, white, brown, brown. And we've got to lay these out so they're nice and straight. Next, we're gonna put the plug alongside the cable and work out how long it is that these need to be. Now when you get your RJ45 connector, just under here is where the crimp part of the plug crimps down onto the jacket of the cable. So what you want to do is offer that up, find out where you want to cut the wires so they go all the way to the end, get your nice sharp cable shears, Square, cut those across, get the connector, put the wires in. So the jacket is under this part of the plug. The wires are all under these copper contacts right on the end. You've pushed it firmly in. Mm -hmm. Then we get our crimp tool, put that in there once down. That's crimped, that's in. So that's our um, cable connected up. Next thing we need to do is get our tester and test the cable to make sure that everything's connected up okay. So I'll put the boot on, plug this in to the tester. Now we'll see, yes, it's 25 and a half meters this cable. All pins are connected correctly. And as you can see on there, everything's wired pin to pin how it should be. So that's it. So that's how you connect up an RJ45 plug onto your Cat5 cable, which we use in AV all the time to connect up extenders, HD base T extenders, uh, HD base T output switches, and so on. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it informative and useful. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.